Public Economy on ASN TV, Mabushi Abuja, Nigeria. I am Khadija Oluwato, I mean. Today's train on agri-economy takes us to the ministry where the federal government's monetary intervention on the state of the economy was revealed. As part of efforts to boost food production, the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Olaye Mikatoso, announced the provision of 2.15 million bags of fertilizers worth over 100 billion naira to the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security for unwanted distribution to farmers across the country. The CBN governor who made the announcement when he led a delegation to the headquarters of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security said the move will amplify food production capabilities and foster price stabilization within the agricultural sector. According to him, while transient inflationary pressures may persist, the CBN anticipates substantial alleviation by the third quarter of the year 2024, coupled with diminished exchange rate strains. The CBN governor also noted food prices are a crucial component of inflation, especially considering that a substantial portion of household expenditure in Nigeria is allocated towards food and non-alcoholic beverages. Let's listen to him. It is indeed with great honor and enthusiasm that we come here to you today to address a matter of paramount importance that not only aligns with the core objectives of the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, but also resonates deeply with the livelihoods of all Nigerians, the escalating cost of food. As we are all aware, Honorable Minister, the Central Bank of Nigeria places a significant emphasis on maintaining price stability as one of its primary mandates. Food prices are a crucial component of inflation, especially considering that a substantial portion of household expenditure in Nigeria is allocated towards food and non-alcoholic beverages. This reinforces the critical need to address food inflation as a pivotal aspect of managing overall headline inflation rates. While the CBN has been implementing comprehensive measures to curb inflation, it is evident that in the short term, the inflationary pressures may persist, predominantly driven by escalating food prices. This is precisely why we convene today, to strengthen our collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture with a shared objective of mitigating the surge in food prices. In, line, in alignment with our strategic shift towards focusing on our fundamental mandate, the CBN has veered away from direct quasi-fiscal interventions and transitioned towards leveraging conventional monetary policy tools for executing monetary policies effectively. In this light, we aim to extend our support and foster closer ties with ministries, departments, and agencies that bear the mandate and expertise to undertake these critical initiatives. Consequently, we aim to enhance our partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture, thereby bolstering your endeavors to enhance food productivity and security, ultimately curbing food inflation and fortifying our pursuit of price stability. In pursuit of these goals, we are delighted to announce the allocation of 2.15 million bags of fertilizer valued at over 100 billion naira which we are humbly handing over 
to the Ministry of Agriculture. <laughs> this contribution from the Central Bank is aimed at amplifying food production capabilities and fostering price stabilization within the agricultural sector. My team and I reiterate our unwavering commitment to prioritizing price stability and instilling confidence in the Nigerian economy by upholding consumer price stability and ensuring a balanced foreign exchange market. The Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, Senator Abubakar Bagudu on his part, said the provision of the fertilizer would help reduce the prices of foodstuff in the markets. We recall that in the year 2024 budget, the agricultural sector was allocated close to... We launched a major and ambitious agriculture-related undertaking. Uh, and equally, the President was represented by the Minister I the uh, commission of what I believe is the largest market processing arena processing and so to crown it all today the ministry uh, received the golden gifts from the Central Bank of Nigeria so I congratulate you all of you. I thank the Central Bank government and the team especially for underscoring today for the assurance of all that Central Bank will remain committed as the governor says, strengthen follow cooperation between the bank and the MDAs that are helpful in executing of projects or programs that can help in the achievement of the Central Bank objective. I think that's very reassuring, especially in the light of comments which misunderstood, maybe earlier made measures that have been announced by the Central Bank. So, uh, we, are, we, we thank you for that clarification. Uh, the two million bags of fertilizer will go along with <laughs> and I'm sure with and I'm sure with what with my brothers here at the ministry, I think with the great team that they have it can further go a long way. We are not alone in the challenges of the moment, food crisis in many counties around the world, mostly as a result of increased energy cost. We have seen farmers uh, demonstrating in India and in, in Brussels in Belgium, as well as many other counties. But that we are not alone, it's not comforting. We want to solve our problem. And what the Central Bank did today is quite commendable and I'm sure it's a step that we can uh, we can sustain the momentum. <coughs> Combination of all the major steps that have been taken uh, fiscal and monetary I've given confidence that our strategy is working, but our strategy may need to be supported from time to time, especially our resilient, hardworking men and women who are willing to work hard, but some folk for whom men, most of them are not, the reward is not commensurate with the effort. And that is why the leadership of uh, Ministry of Agriculture is supporting our agricultural sector is commendable. We are we are competitive with many nations in the world. But sometimes factors can require an additional support, like uh, both energy and uh, and other input support. Because the beauty of our agricultural sector is that it is dominated by a small scale, mostly family based land holding structure, which is equitable in a way, in the sense that when you support them, it's uh, an equitable distribution of support which will make all do better. And I commend the Central Bank Governor for uh, assuring the country and indeed the agricultural sector that they will remain engaged. 
we are competing with other countries in the world. Agriculture is the most distorted in international trade. And because of that, collaboration between institutions is necessary so as to support, to ensure that we are not losing out to others, to other countries who are even dumping on us or who are better collaborated. And this, I believe, uh, uh, with the assurance that I had and the uh, optimism of the ministry, minister, uh, I believe we are on the right track. Last but not the least is to acknowledge that in the 2024 budget, agriculture received close to a trillion naira, which is a significant increase in budgetary allocation consistent with the renewed hope agenda of Mr. President as well you call our But more than that, more than that is the personal commitment of Mr. President to support the Nigerian uh, transformation and to ensure that anybody who is willing to be put in effort is richly rewarded. In his vote of thanks, Minister of State for Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Sabi Abdullahi, commended the efforts of the CBN for the timely provision of the fertilizers. He said this ministry has been fashioning a way to weed out and block fake farmers from benefiting from the government's financial support. Let's take a listen. For this very wonderful gesture, uh, for me, what is significant here is over the years, there is an issue about timing in terms of when inputs are received. So for the first time in a long while, you have helped us to achieve a critical milestone in terms of timing. Because this is coming while we are, while we are preparing for the last round of the dry season and at the same time the wet season. This has been our major headache every time we discuss. So you've really taken up you brought some very good Panadol for us. And you know they say if it is not Panadol, then it's not Panadol. So we want to thank you most sincerely for this very kind effort. On the spot, the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Abubakar Kiari, expressed gratitude to the CBN governor for the provision of 2.15 trillion assorted fertilizers. Kiari assured that the fertilizers will be judiciously distributed and used for the purposes of which it is given. According to him, the COVID-19 pandemic flooding, climate change, narrow redesign, and insecurity are some of the contributory factors to current food inflation in the country. The minister advocated for all year round farming and that the federal government has provided 50% subsidy on fertilizers to farmers already. He also disclosed that through the presidential directive, farmers are also supported with 75% subsidy on fertilizers and that seeds, herbicides and insecticides are given to farmers free of charge. He added that the gesture from the CBN will go a long way during the dry and wet season farming in the country. The minister disclosed that wheat farming would be upped from the current 120,000 hectares to 250,000 hectares by the next year with support from the African Development Bank as well. Let's listen to him. Thank you very much for such a wonderful presentation. Uh, as you said, this is more than a food is, uh, I believe so, something that is worth more than 100 billion uh, and uh, 2 million, 2.15 million bags of assorted fertilizers. And I think we soon get the, the, different, the different types of fertilizers. You have to understand all the types, urea, uh, NPK 20, 10, 10, 15, 15, 15, and I believe also SSP is among those ones that are uh, being presented. So um, we want to express our uh, profound appreciation on behalf of the Nigerian farmers, and first to His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as well as the Bola Ibekin of GCFR, and also to you our dear brother, the governor of Central Bank and the team, for giving us this wonderful, wonderful gift. Um, and to uh, assure you that it will be judiciously used and that uh, it will be we'll delivered to the last man, to the intended persons, uh, to the intended farmers, where they can reap the benefits 
of this huge gesture and by in turn to cultivate and produce more that will stem the developing food inflation uh, that is affecting our country. I must say that um, we have had uh, a challenging period within the last six, seven, eight months. It's been challenging for us here in the ministry and by uh, some reasons of uh, um, that is beyond our control right from the issue the era of COVID. Um, food prices and food cultivation have been impacted in Nigeria. Uh, and then uh, thereafter in 2021 and 2022 we had the massive flooding that took place around the country. And I'm sure I know some of the staff that were part of the programs in the, during those times and witnessed the kind of impact that flooded and the issue of climate change had impacted on uh, agriculture in Nigeria. Um, and again, of course, uh, Mr. Governor, your policy, not you, but uh, the narrative we designed also impacted a lot on. Uh, not you. <laughs> 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 on, on, our, on our rural um, low-income farmers, and uh, that, that, that really, uh, when that policy came out at the point of cultivation, and also it went on to uh, the planting season of 2023. So those effects and um, some conflicts here and there, and uh, the security here and there really impacted on the agricultural production. But I'm happy to say that most of these items, that those things that I have mentioned are on the decline, insecurities on the decline. Um, also, we are beginning to mitigate against climate change by uh, uh, incentivizing farmers to go into dry season uh, agriculture. And I was just talking with some of the members of your team before you came uh, on the need to boost and uh, repair irrigation infrastructure so as to uh, you know, have all the air around farming, which is even much more secure than that of the wet season uh, farming. But here we are, we have received this um, tremendous gift of uh, fertilizer, which when you look at it, you know, on the EOPs or the estimates of production, fertilizer constitutes the majority uh, cost and value in terms of inputs in any um, agricultural production. So we're very happy and we're extremely grateful for this gesture. And um, we have right now a program that um, has given the program the National Agricultural Growth Scheme that is being supported by African Development Bank that gives 50% subsidy of all inputs to our farmers. But with Mr. President's gesture and intervention, we have gone a bit further again to, uh, to, to support farmers in terms of the other percentage. And I think we're, uh, Buba, you are here. How many percent are we supporting additionally? I think about 75% of the 50%. So in, 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 uh, what we have for every farmer, we uh, half a hectare uh, requires three bags of fertilizer. So the farmer only pays for 16,000 naira, even the half bag of fertilizer was priced as last year's value. So we're still maintaining that 16,000 uh, per farmer. So he gets all the three bags of fertilizer, gets all the um, agrochemicals, herbicides and pesticides, and seeds for rice and maize and cassava free of charge. So this is, the, like I said, this also will go a long way in trying to um, get a bumper harvest, I believe, for the dry season and also for the uh, wet season. We have done the wet uh, wheat season from November last year. We're at the point of cultivation or uh, harvesting now. Uh, very soon, uh, Jigawa, that is the um, star state for wheat, um, will we'll soon start harvesting, and uh, it's called the 
It was a brown field day, right? And uh, we will visit that in, in a couple of weeks and uh, we'll see uh, the, the harvest going on. And we believe we're going to achieve nothing less than 80% uh, uh, of what we have intended to achieve. So um, that's, in a sense, a good sign because by next uh, rice season, we intend to increase from the 130,000 hectares of wheat to 250. Uh, African Development Bank is willing to support more because they've been here, they went around, and they have seen the success that we have um, gained within the wheat sector. And wheat is something that is very vital to our economy because right now we uh, we import almost 9 million tons of wheat. And of course, we imagine the foreign exchange outlay that that would, uh, would um, when, when eventually we become self-sufficient, that will uh, save the country in terms of our exchange. And we intend in the near future also to be a net exporter of wheat, as other countries in the African space have done. Uh, Ethiopia has done, Zimbabwe has done, and it's not with the world. Nigeria should not do and follow in that same path. Wheat is a very vital uh, commodity in that space. Uh, of course, we know that we have the bread, even the gala on the on the streets is a bit of wheat. So that's how important uh, wheat is. And of course, pasta and spaghetti and all that. So we need to um, work together, collaborate, like you said, so that we see how we can lift uh, Nigeria out of the present food crisis that we find ourselves. With this few remarks, I'd like to thank you very much for coming and giving us this wonderful, wonderful suggestion to our farmers. And we will not really extend to them to the last mile, to the last, uh, uh, to the, to the, the tender farmers. Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria ASCN coordinates the activities of research institutes and is responsible for supervision, regulation, coordination of research activities and programs of higher institutions in Nigeria. I'm Professor Hamidou Sharabatusin's assumption as Executive Secretary of ASCN in April 2020 has solidified the transformation of agriculture in Nigeria through strategic and meaningful execution of research fundings for improvement of the agricultural sector. As you can see then, you can see the cucumbers, cucumbers are, doing, are doing very well, they are growing very well. We actually done some harvesting this week, we've done two harvestings already. So originally we do two harvestings a week, like Monday and Thursday. Hmm? The other factor I would like us to know is the fact that the crops we are doing here, they are actually F2, like they are the second filial generation. Okay, as you can see the fruits growing really massively. So, based on the research that we have done here, we have been able to, to see that um, most of the time we buy the F1 generation from, from Disney Gulf Nigeria, you understand? They are this European variety you get. And then we have seen, based on research, that the fruits can can actually be harvested and harnessed in the production of further, further seeds. This is um, one of the milestone achievements we've been able to achieve in Fecolat. We have been able to see that instead of wasting a lot of money, using a lot of money to buy F1 from Europe, you understand, to plant in the greenhouse, we can also make use of the F2, like the product of the F1, to produce further croppings. 
The recent release of four wheat varieties comprising two bread and two durum during the 36th meeting of National Committee on the Naming, Registration and Release of Crop Varieties and Livestock Breeds as well as Fisheries held at the National Center for Genetic Resources and Biotechnology Ibadan was in partnership with the Floor Milling Association of Nigeria Director Lecture Research Institute Meduguri Babagana Jugudum Kabir said the varieties Lakri Wheat 14, Balo 100, and Lakri Wheat 15, Neloki, are bread wheat, while Lakri Wheat 16D Sirno and Lakri Wheat 17D Bio Reka are Durum wheat. These varieties, according to him, are high yielding with potential yields 7 to 8 hectare. He said farmers have been enriched with this new varieties through on farm and multiplication trials where about 7.2 hectare was realized. He acknowledged the contributions of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development as well as the Floor Milling Association of Nigeria towards attaining this feat. <music>